Welcome to basic form creation using InfoPath. In this video we will be publishing TM1 views and subsets using Enterprise Services Manager to make them available for use in our form. Now that we have completed our prototype we're ready to publish the subsets and views from TM1 that will be used in this form. When we look at this form, we notice that we have three drop-downs and one table. Drop-downs are typically supplied by a TM1 subset, and tables are usually supplied by views. So what we will do is we will look at what we have available to us in TM1 to be able to drive this form. Now notice that we have in our view the monthly compensation planning view and that looks very well. We also now want to look at the dimensions that are part of the employees that will drive the version department and year. So let's look at what subsets we have available to us. Under the version dimension we have a subset called versions and that contains the leaf level of all of the different versions that are, uh, the user can choose from and that looks pretty good. In the business unit we have a subset called departments and this has again the leaf level list of all of the departments at which this uh, user can select and report on the monthly compensation planning. So this also looks good. And then finally for the year we have two different subsets. One's called forecast years and for years and since we're going to allow them to look historically as well as uh, forward we want to get them to look at all years that we have in the system. So that's 2009, 2010, and 11. So these three subsets work well, and we'll just reuse those, as well as the view that we looked at earlier, monthly compensation planning. So we've got all the components ready, and we're able to now publish these and make them available for use in the form. So we start off by going to the Enterprise Services Manager page, and this will open up the list of all of the cubes and their views and the dimensions and their subsets that can then be published and made available to InfoPath. So let's expand out our employees cube and you'll notice that we have the three views we saw earlier in TM1 and we're going to publish the monthly compensation planning view. By clicking on this checkbox this view is now available for use in applications. We'll do the same thing for the dimensions for each of the ones that are in the drop-downs. So under business unit we want to publish departments. Under version we want to publish versions subset. And under year we want to publish the years subset. We can look at these in enterprise services as well by just clicking on the title departments and then we can preview the data. And so this is what we will get back. The ID, which corresponds to the element name, and then if there is an alias associated with it called name, that will be displayed here. Okay. And so now all of the subsets we'll need are published and so is the view. And we're ready to now connect those data sources to the InfoPath form. This concludes publishing TM1 views and subsets. In the next video we will be taking these published views and we will be connecting them to the InfoPath controls using data sources.